Hey guys, it's Tarko Cyclone FPV, and uh, right now I'm going to be doing a, a remote session. One of the things that we offer from Cyclone FPV is the remote sessions to be able to work on other people's computers like y'all's. Uh, if you're having a problem setting up drivers, doing beta flight, doing BL Heli, or doing whatever it is on the computer that's not allowing you to configure your quad properly. So I'm going to do one right now. I'm actually remoting into a, uh, sorry, got some on here. Um, remoting into a customer of mine named Michael, and uh, he's got an issue with one of the boards and getting the drivers to load so we can get into beta flight. So because I don't see the issue on my end, I can't do the remote, I can't do the um, solution locally. So I'm gonna remote into his and show you guys how it works, all right? So I've got a screen sharing going on, which uh, I'm going to get this to work here. And there you can see it right there. So I'm now remoted into his computer. And um, I am going to see, hopefully, if we can get this to work properly, okay? So give me one second. All right, so the problem that Michael has, uh, there we go. Okay, so the problem that Michael has is that, um, when he goes into beta flight, right, and he's trying to connect to his NACE32 board, uh, he's getting an error message, which basically won't connect. Now, hopefully his computer is going to function at a good pace here, but uh, let's see what we've got. So the first thing we know is that he does not have, um, oh, let me go to his device manager at the same time. And there's going to be a little bit of a lag here, but let's just see if we could. Uh, so we're back in beta flight right now, and we've got the, um, we've got the uh, beta flight loaded. And what we want to do is we want to see why we're not transferring data, okay? So let's just see what we've got here, and we're going to go and choose the board. And we're just going to go to NAS. There we go, okay. And then we're going to try to find a firmware version, and we're going to load the firmware, and then we're going to see what happens. And let me get this out of the way. Okay, so we're going to try to load a firmware, and then we're going to wait for it to flash, and we're going to see what happens here. Okay, so it should hopefully give us an erase. And we're just having, like, there's, there must be a, maybe a slow connection between the two computers, but we're going to see if we can fix that real quick. So let's see once we flash before we're able to connect. Okay, so programming is successful. That's kind of what we want to see. Let's minimize this. And now we're in. Okay, so the system looks good. So if you do have a problem where you're not able to connect in there, uh, you'll just want to flash it, okay? And when you flash it, you'll be able to get past that issue where it just kind of sits there. So just make sure that you do that. The screen going blank is something on his side. Okay, so um, uh, that takes care of that, and I hope that helps you guys out. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and end the session now. And uh, if you have any other questions, let me know, and we'll talk to you guys soon. All right, take care. Bye.